the number of yes votes cast was 1,513, which represents 98.8%. The announcement was broadcast live across the islands. This reaction in the town hall was echoed at Arch Green in Stanley Town Centre. The outcome, a surprise to no one, but still celebrated as a huge victory. People who live here really, really care about uh, where they live and what they stand for. Never doubted it, but I'm quite surprised how high it is. Very good though. Absolutely fabulous. I'm over the moon. I'm so happy. This is the best time I've ever had since England won the World Cup in 1966. Very pleased. A fantastic result and no surprise at all. But brilliant weekend and yes, hopefully it'll get the message across. I'm very pleased, not surprised to be honest. It's, uh, I expected at least 95%, so 98 is fantastic. It's brilliant, it's, it's great to see everybody gathered here. It's such a sense of pride, it's great, it's fantastic. Oh, overwhelmed, overwhelmed, it's absolutely bloody brilliant. Earlier in the town hall, the count was made in two stages. First, each individual polling box was checked and the numbers verified. Second, the papers were mixed in together and counted. All of this watched by a team of international and independent observers. With only three no votes, the Yes campaign received 98.8% of the total and the turnout, which everyone's been so concerned with, was an incredible 92% even better than most expected, and a fitting climax to what's been a long and powerful build-up. It's a sort of feeling that I think has grown over the last few days, helped in a way by the amount of overseas media that are here. Now, you know, we suddenly realise, gosh, it, it's clearly important to them as well as to us. And I think people have really begun to revel in the opportunity it gives for the, for the people of the Falklands to have a voice. Back at the victory party, the patriotic tunes ring out. For now at least, the Union flags will continue to fly proudly in the Falklands. It's difficult to believe when you see these scenes that during my time here, independence has been mooted as an idea. But for most people, they agree that that's at least 30 years or at least two generations away. The yes vote, though, has given them the freedom to decide that if they want it in the future. With music still ringing in their ears, the Falkland Islanders have woken up to the same way of life, the one they voted to keep. It was Margaret Thatcher who said, they are few in number, but they have the right to live in peace, to choose their own way of life, and to determine their own allegiance. That was in 1982, but her words are just as, or more so, relevant today. Kath Brazier, Forces News, Stanley.